Well, now to the Middle East, diplomats from the U.S. and Qatar inching closer to a deal to temporarily stop the fighting in Gaza. The deal would see hostages released in exchange for pause in fighting and the Palestinian prisoners held by Israel. Fox News correspondent Jeff Paul has more from southern Israel. As the fighting continues in northern Gaza, we're seeing significant movement on the diplomatic front. Israel and Hamas reportedly close to agreeing on a deal that would see dozens of hostages, mostly women and children, freed from captivity in exchange for more than 100 Palestinians being held by Israel and a multi-day ceasefire. The deal is being brokered by diplomats from the U.S. and Qatar, with negotiations starting almost immediately after the fighting broke out. We've been working on this intensively for weeks, as you all know. I've spoken recently about it with both the Prime Minister Netanyahu and the uh, Amir Qatar. And my team has been in the region shuttling, shuttling uh, between capitals. But it's still not clear if any agreement between Israel and Hamas would succeed. The fighting has been intensifying in recent days as Hamas regroups near the Jabalia refugee camp, a huge complex of concrete buildings just east of the city. Palestinian civilians have serious doubts that any ceasefire could hold for long. Now it is Israel's turn to follow the steps, and in the end, we all know that the Jews never abide by any agreement. And officials here have been saying since the start of the war that any permanent truce will only come after the release of all hostages, making it unlikely diplomats will be able to get a deal for a longer ceasefire. We are currently focusing on a very strong and proactive defense in the north in order to achieve a crushing victory in the south. The first goal, the elimination of Hamas, does not stop until it is done. Officials say right now 236 people are being held hostage, roughly 40 of them children. In southern Israel, Jeff Paul, Fox News.